this 100 mile wilderness, we want it safe. We want it so that you can go out there and it's pristine and it's mystical and it cleanses the soul and you can get away and you don't hear anybody else out there. And that is so important if you've never had it before. I mean, you gotta come out and see what it's like. When we bring people out here and show them this country, they become connected to it. And if they become connected to it, they become good stewards of the land. If we can pass that on to the next generation and to the generation after that, these wild places will be saved and preserved. In 1911, determined members of the Appalachian Mountain Club laid the foundation for the White Mountains to become a national forest. As the new millennium drew near, the club's leadership reflected upon this accomplishment as they sought a vision for the future. The White Mountains were about as burned over, unpleasant as any kind of landscape you could imagine. And there were some AMC members then who said, this is an area that we have to protect. And look what happened. The White Mountains is a beautiful spot. Millions of people enjoy that forest each year. So our vision for the, the year 2010 was one of saying, well, if those people back in 1911 were thinking as far ahead as they were, if they were thinking about the next generation, shouldn't we be thinking about the next generation too? AMC decided to implement a broad vision for the North Woods of Maine, an area whose wilderness is under threat. This became the Maine Woods Initiative, an ambitious project with a simple goal, to protect Maine's famed 100-mile wilderness for future generations. The 100-mile wilderness is what's referred to this region roughly between Moosehead Lake and Baxter State Park and the southern end of Piscataquis County to Dover Foxcroft. It refers to the last 100 miles of the Appalachian Trail from when it last passes through a town and a paved road before it reaches the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail and at Katahdin and Baxter State Park. Right now, this land is really under threat. It's under threat of development, and it's under threat for more intensive commercial harvesting. This is the window of opportunity. This is the time to do it. Here is something that we can do as an organization. AMC's first steps into the 100-mile wilderness was the purchase of a traditional Maine sporting camp called Little Lyford Pond Camps, owned by Bob Leroy. I saw one of Maine's notorious liquidation harvesters driving around out here looking at things, and it basically sent my wife and I into a panic that uh, things were going to change and not in a very good way. AMC came in and bought the camps on 300 acres, which surrounded the two ponds and a mile of riverfront. Built in the 1870s, Little Lyford Pond Camps offers a unique year-round destination for families and friends to explore the Maine woods. AMC next acquired the Katahdin Ironworks, a 37,000-acre forest surrounding the camp. Named after a 19th-century iron-making operation, the property includes spectacular sites such as Gulf Hagus. The progress on our Maine Woods Initiative has gone just much faster than we, we ever anticipated. We um, found that there was a, a chance that really came to us to buy a second sporting camp further up north called Metawisla. And recently, we've been able to acquire a camp that we now call the Gorman Chairback Camps. There's a real opportunity for a, a week-long venture in the wintertime, skiing from sporting camp to sporting camp. Creating these kinds of opportunities to enjoy the outdoors is one of several major goals of the Maine Woods Initiative. First is land conservation for uh, recreation, for habitat, ecological protection. The second point is developing recreation access, so building the trails, the trailheads for hikers, for skiers, building the places where people are going to come to, like Little Lyford Pond Camps and, and other lodges. The third point is sustainable forestry, so showing that we can actually do sustainable forestry, do it well, create income and improve the forest over the long term. 
and uh, along with that is community and economic development. If they're coming into one of our camps for a weekend in the winter, often they're spending the first night in Greenville and having dinner and breakfast and whatnot. And then the fourth point is education. We're really trying to incorporate education into everything we do here from the guests to local students and the programs that we're doing in the local schools. We've found that the number of individuals who have shown interest aren't just our traditional supporters. They are people who come from throughout the, the region, in some cases from throughout the, the country, because those four goals of the project really are something that are very important to them. These are people for whom outdoor experiences have been a very important part of their lives and they want to make sure that those kinds of experiences are available for other people in the future. The Maine Woods Initiative is the largest investment in conservation and recreation in AMC's 133 year history and much has been accomplished. Where we are now is that next piece which is known as the Roach Pond Track is a critical link because you have Katahdin Iron Works here, you have Roach Pond, then you have Actor State Park. This link is important because that creates the corridor. We have been able to lead a conservation consortium so that the end result will be the protection of about a million acres of land in the 100 mile wilderness area of Maine. We want to put together the kind of campaign funding that pays for the trails, that pays for the camps, that sets up a, a stewardship fund to make sure that we can serve the visitors that come here. We obviously need financial support, but we're very committed to making this project one that is financially self-sustaining. When we did this strategic plan, I don't think any of us ever thought that within 10 years we would be there with a string of sporting camps ready, available, and open to you with trails already created. And you can go up and look at it. You can feel it. You can taste it. You can experience that outdoor wonder. And you'll be happy to make an investment with us. And if you've already made your gift, you'll be very proud of what's been accomplished with the investment you've made in the Maine Woods Initiative.